potter's clay. People molded after his own will. And to be molded means we're molded by trials, difficulties, hardship. Daniel chapter 2, are you still with me? Daniel 2 and verse number, oh friends, so I'm getting emotional. In the chapter 2, verse number 41, are we there? The Bible says, and whereas thou sawest the feet of and toes, part of potter's clay, and part of iron, and the kingdom shall be divided, and they shall be in it in the strength of iron, inasmuch as thou sawest the iron is mixed with what kind of clay? Miry clay. Ceramic clay. Miry clay. Are you with me? So the iron, which represents to represent Rome, is going to mix with the miry clay. The mire in First Peter talks about how. Uh, those who know the commandment of God but turn from it are like the pig which wallow in the mire. Are you with me? So they represent the disobedient. So the potter's clay are the obedient. Are you with me? The potter's clay are the, the obedient. But the potter's clay are God's people who are obedient to the potter, which means they're molded and fashioned through trials. Jeremiah chapter, Jeremiah chapter 18. So even in Daniel chapter 2, we're going to do Jeremiah chapter 18. So even in Daniel chapter 2, we see that to prepare God's people to be a part of the potter, potter's clay, we must endure trials. We must be in the hand of the potter. And to make pottery is not easy, my friends. Are you with me? You gotta beat it, you gotta work with it, you gotta add fire, you gotta add water, you gotta put it in the oven, you have to bake, you have to leave it alone, you have to beat it, beat it, beat it to get it into what it needs to be. Are you with me? So right before this crisis comes, what is going to happen to us, my friend? Wow. Trials will be upon us. Jeremiah chapter 18. Still with me? Mm -hmm. Almost suffering. Verse number 4. Hello, everyone. Here's Abiella here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're... You know, I've been telling people in my vlogs how wonderful everything is, and it's an incredible miracle, and it is, because we're here. Sometimes when you hit the very bottom in life, and I'm not talking about a spiritual bottom, I'm not even talking about... A, an attack of, of people. I'm talking about financially. I'm talking about with COVID, with the business, with the campfire there in paradise that destroyed our lives. Um, those aspects of our life, pretty, pretty low. Um, this is a little cabin we're trying to build um, <laughs> to live in. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a property, very rural property. Um, very blessed. But we're having a trial. <laughs> This is the blessing here. It's amazing, you know, a child and this beautiful scenery and stuff. But um, I lost a truck. It was stolen with all my tools, my level and everything. And we need a level and we don't have one. We don't have a saw. We don't have any tools. I've got a hammer and a cordless skill saw and some loppers. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's. I just started thinking about it and wanted to take a video and, and, sh and just kind of explain. Yes, we're struggling because we lost... A big beautiful tool truck with the lumber rack and all the tools and the level and all that stuff but I don't have any resentment or anger towards that guy that stole it or lady or whoever it was um, you know I know God has a plan for them and he will deal with them in a in a way that is right and fair. Ooh. <laughs> did that scare you okay hmm. Loving Father in Heaven, we have a 12 by 12 beginnings of a little cabin here. Um, we don't have a roof. The rain is coming in on us. Someone stole our truck. Someone took all our tools. Lord, we know that you can help us, and we know that you have helped us. And so we, we thank you for you, how you've led us in the past, and we ask that you would help us with um, the roofing, with the, with the tools, with the level, that you would provide the work, um, and that... You know, we should just do this. You know, Lord, what we need. In Jesus' name, amen.
this is my brother-in-law over there in the Philippines. There's a boat that I just sent money for him to buy. So you can see how he's getting around now. Simple boat, but sits on it, has a little motor. And that's how they get from point A to point B.